Joe Biden is the most anti-gun president in American history. Let's just look at what the facts are. Here's an administration that wants to tell everyone that semi-automatic and semi-automatic firearms and rifles are not good for anything at all. Not good for self-defense, not good for anything at all. And yet they are denying the distribution of U.S. rifles to the West Bank citizens of Israel. Why? Because they may be used to defend themselves against Hamas or against Hezbollah or against the Palestinian Authority invading and trying to kill them. They might be used to, do, to kill terrorists attempting to reenact what happened in southern Israel on the Gaza border. Joe Biden says, oh, you can't have those guns. They have too much utility in defending your home. They, they might be used against people we actually support, the terrorists. Let's be clear. Joe Biden knows that guns in the hands of the right people, of good people, of honest people, are no threat to anyone. But in denying the citizens of Israel's West Bank to be able to actually defend their homes against terrorist attack, by denying them the ability to have the rifles to do so, is, a, is an astonishing admission that the real objective is not denying people access to rifles, but rather to make them defenseless against attackers. This is evil, it is cruel, and it reveals exactly what the Biden administration believes about your right to keep and bear arms, your right to self-defense, and your right to defend your home from attack. This is Rick Manning, Americans for Limited Government.